In the application's current state, if I was to calculate a trip, there's no way to reset the map so there's no more trip markers or polylines on the map. The only way to clear it is actually just to, to do another trip, but in that case, then there's still polylines on the map. So um, in this video, we're gonna work on a way to reset the map and kind of reset it back to the way it is when the fragment is first inflated. So we're gonna be removing the markers and removing the polylines. And uh, we're gonna be adding another button on the map in the top corner here, just like this one for resetting it. So the first thing we need to do is add that button. So I'm gonna go into fragment user list and we're gonna add a second button here. And I've created a gist just to save time. So you can get the code from this URL right here and you can see that the button is right here. So I'm gonna copy that go back to Android Studio, paste that in, and there's there's our button. So you can see that it's aligned to the left-hand side and there's kind of this now this refresh button here. Uh, you could have also just copied this, pasted it below, and changed the drawable and the ID, but uh, that's up to you. So now I'm gonna go back to user list fragment and we need to first attach an on-click listener to our new button. So uh, it's basically the same process as this, so I'm gonna press Control D to copy that line and then do button reset map and set the on click listener. Now we need to build a method for removing everything from the map. And if we scroll to the add map markers method, this method is actually going to re-add all the clusters. So it's gonna clear all the clusters and then re-add them to the map. Sorry, it's not gonna clear the clusters. We're gonna to need to do that, but uh, this, this method can be used to kind of re-add everything to the map. So you can think of this as like the reset method, or sorry, uh, the add everything again method. So what we need to do is just create a method to remove everything, and then we can just call add map markers, and that's gonna re-add everything to the map just as it was when the fragment was first brought into view. So let's build that method to remove everything. So uh, actually, I've created a gist. I could type it out, but this is just gonna be faster. Go back to the gist. Here's the URL up here. And here is the reset map method right here. So you can see it checks to see if the Google map is null. It then clears the Google map, which is going to remove all the markers and all the stuff from it. It, it removes everything basically. That removes everything from the map. Then we want to um, reset our cluster manager. So clear all the cluster items. We want to remove all the cluster markers and we want to remove all the polylines. So that's, that's what this method is gonna do. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to Android Studio, paste that in. And this is kind of like our hard reset uh, method uh, for removing everything. So basically, we can just go into add map markers and we can say uh, reset map right here. So all we gotta do essentially to reset the map is to call add map markers and everything would be reset. So let's go to the on click method and we're gonna create another case here. Whoops, am I inside? That's that case. Okay, so case r.id.button reset map. And then inside here, we want to break at the bottom and we want to call add map markers uh, right there. So that's, whoops, this should be a semicolon, or sorry, a colon, not a semicolon. Uh, so that should do it. Let's run it and take a look. All right, go to the chat room, go to the fragment. I'm going to calculate a route. So you can see that's, that's a route added to the map. Now I'm gonna click the reset button and you can see everything gets reset. So everything is working as we expect. The last thing I wanna work on is clicking these users in the list. I think this should, it would be cool if it animated the camera to that particular user if you click them from the list. Uh, so yeah, all we're gonna do is add an on-click listener to the recycle view and then animate the camera to that person. So I'll see you in that next video.